How can something as beautiful as this be dying? A plague is ruining the land, but the tree of life still stands. Question is, for how long? End is coming to the new world. The tribes stand divided, in need of someone strong enough to unite them, or bring them all down. This is a story with an unusual beginning. So, let's expect an unusual end. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Jason here, and holy cow, this is Bio Mutant, and I've been really excited to play this. I couldn't really jump into it as soon as it came out because I was moving into a house, if you didn't know. But we can jump into it now, so hopefully you guys like it. Hit that like button if you want to see more of it, and let's jump into it. Welcome to Bio Mutant. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going to be doing a new game, of course. Uh, medium. And let's see what is going on here. I know we can customize our, our uh, animal, right? Our character. Uh, is, are they robots or are they m mutants? Or is it like some combination? I don't know. Oh, look, is that the default character? It looks like Encode it. Encode your DNA. Okay. Primal. Okay, so look at over on the right hand side, you see my stats. You have your, your different stats where they kind of improve in, you know, decrease and increase depending on which class or which, uh, which, uh, breed of animal you are. That's okay. And we can read all this stuff. Uh, Rex is an extraordinary developed anthropo- Oh man, I'm not gonna be able to pronounce that. Anthropomorphic <laughs> breed. A hybrid cast with an even DNA string making it apt for both physical and mental. Okay. So you have, you know, your your super duper like really weak, but they're more agile, so you can jump and run faster. Or you're really heavy, and you know, a strong character. And then there's the, the variance in between. It looks like, right? Do, do, do. Well, I'm gonna go with the middle, the Rex. It looks like I'm gonna go with the Rex, which is kind of in the middle of everything. Define your character starting attribute. See more detailed explanations. Okay. Define your genetic structure. Vitality is the amount of health you have. Health. Wait a minute. Amount of health and energy cost. Oh, of dodging. It's not how much health you have. It's the amount your uh, health and energy cost of dodging. The amount of health you have. This value increases as you level up and higher your vitality attribute. So, so vitality is kind of health. Armor. Amount of armor you have defines how much damage you can take from enemy attacks. Armor is defined by the gear. Strength, melee, oh my god, look at all these stats. This is an RPG, whoa! Loot chant, oh wow, okay. Oh, and it actually changes what you look like, look at that! If you're a smarter and very weak character, you're really tiny, and you have a big head because you're smarter. <laughs> Your charisma, you have a really tiny head, long body, I don't know how that works. Oh, agility, and you have longer legs, I'm guessing. Strength, you got those big old shoulders. Health, okay, so we're gonna be somewhere in the middle. Let's say we're in the middle. You know, I'm gonna be really weird, you know, the, the plain person who's gonna be right in the middle of everything. Choose a I'm the resilience. jack of all trades. Oh, so they have radioactivity, heat, biohazard. Wow, okay, so you only have a, a certain percentage of each. Wow, okay. Wow, okay. Well, he has fur, so I want to make him more resilient to heat. So we'll do that. Heat. That's going to be my thing. Choose your fur style. Fur style? What does that mean? Oh, I could, you can choose your patches and stuff. Okay. Oh, this is going to be so cool. So is there like a, a middle ground in between these? No, it doesn't look like it. Like, there's no like middle where... It's kind of faded on one and go blends into the other one. Look, it just, it just switches. Okay, okay. Oh, you know, uh, hopefully we can choose the color, right? Hopefully we can choose the color of our fur. That'd be amazing. We're going to go with that one. That one looks cool, except for I don't want it to be brown. I want it to be purple. Because you know purple is the best color, right? Color. <gasps> you can. Oh, purple. The main color is... Where is it at? 
Oh, okay. You gotta make it lighter. Okay. Yeah, if you make it darker, it just goes black. All right, gotcha. I oh, gotcha. I don't know. How, I don't understand how colors work. I guess. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be purple. You know, we're gonna be purple. Look at that. Oh, getting a little bit darker. I mean, we're kind of. All right. Choose your detail color. Detail color. Oh, okay. Actually, let's make this a little bit darker. And we're gonna go for purple again. Oh, look at that! Look at that purple. Purple and like dark brown. I like that. All right, let's actually go more towards a bluish, bluish purple. Yeah, look at that. Now let's go back to the, let's go back. Actually, we'll do this. So that'll be blue. There we go. And then our main color is going to be more purplish. Yeah, look at that. Oh, this is so cool. Look at that. It'll be purple and like bluish. Oh, look at that. Awesome fur. I like it. He has an eye patch and everything. Can you choose the eye patch? Like, can I change that? I wonder. Claws. Oh, now we have a... Wait a minute. We have a breed and we have a... Holy... This is getting so deep. Holy cow. All right. So... Dead mercenary. mercenary is trained swordsman who has the art of... The, so they don't use guns, I guess? All right. So we have just swords. Dead eye. We have a sword and a gun. You know, like cloud. This is the cloud. Commando. <laughs> Just gun, okay. Look at him, he looks like a Rambo, I love it. Cyphreak. Oh, you have actually like uh powers, I guess. Look at that. Powers and a gun. Saboteur. Saboteur. Convertly in both suburbs and suburbs and wild wilderness. Okay, so this is more of like the stealthy character, I'm guessing. Sentinel. To protect a house, their dedication is for the organization as a whole, including supreme belief in their dogma. Saboteur, Cyphreak, Commando, Deadeye. I want to... Oh, it's either going to be for me, it's either going to be Deadeye. Commando, or Cyphreak, Saboteur. Saboteur. Because I want to have guns and a melee weapon. I don't want to be stuck with one or the other. Cyphreak, Commando, Deadeye. Deadeye, hmm. I think a lot of people are going to be choosing Deadeye. Tricky, skillful rogue whose chosen life is outside law. Mercenary. You know what? No, no, no. We're going to go with the full-on samurai. Look at that. That is so cool. Wait a minute. He has a gun, too. Wait a minute. His knife is going right through his gun, but he has a gun on his hip. Dead eye. Mercenary. Do they all yeah, have I'm guns? Excited. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, they do? I'm not I'm not paying attention. Okay, they all have guns. So they all... Dead eye. Well, in that case, mercenary. I'm going to go with mercenary because he does have a gun. I bet you his main focus is melee weapons, though, so let's do that. Mercenary chosen. Yeah, look at that. I wish I could change the color of his uh, costume. Yellow, no. Let's go with like a, a dark, like purple and blue. Come on. All right, let's do it. Confirm. All right, move forward. Here's somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. Whoa, this game feels. Look at the movement. It is really quick. Bunny hop, got it. We're already at the crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. Or, whoa, okay. Simply stop living. What are we doing here? What are we doing? But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through everything. Dark red as in strength and power, or light blue for freedom and loyalty. I feel like the good version of this is you're going to have to go over to the uh, light blue. Freedom and loyalty is like the good, and dark red is the strength and power. So that's going to be your evil, I'm guessing. Oh, we're going to be good. Freedom and loyalty. That's how I should do it myself i'm the light and bright side of you or your inner voice to be precise an echo of balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward um i i was choosing that until she started talking i don't know about that oh it's gonna sound like uh what is it navi from zelda ocarina of time hey listen oh i hope that's not it all right let's go Let's see if we can go back to the other one. I'm not sure light is for me. Let's see if we can choose the other one. That's right. Light is only for those having difficulty seeing what's in front of them. 
Sticking to the me first path is the only way we'll be going. Oh, okay. So yeah, the uh, dark path, the red path is the evil path. Uh, I'm surprised at the change of heart. I believe in putting yourself aside to help others, but helping the dark side is not that, you know. All right. You can't fight who you really are. The blood is obviously running red in our veins. Okay. You're trying to keep us in the dark here, but you know it's blue blood in our veins and what it means. We have responsibilities. You can't fight the truth. You can't fight the truth. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Wait, oh, wait a minute, light? Somewhat light? Oh, I'm somewhat light. Okay, so actually that was the choice. I thought I was going to have to pick one or the other. So if you pick one and then go back to the other one, you're kind of the first one you pick. I, okay, this game is getting pretty interesting. There's a lot of detail. There's a lot of trash. A lot of detail. Okay, I'm going to go to the right since I'm a good guy, right? right is always right. <laughs> okay, yeah. I like the movement. It's so quick. Thank Oop, that sounds bad. What is this? Stories of death and the bodies left behind. A reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. Ooh. Okay. Can you have a double jump? Can I? Oh, we have a roll. I like it. Oh. Oh. That's a gun. Okay, triggers are your your weapons. Or your uh, ranged weapons. Okay, and then X or uh, button faces are your weak and strong attack. Okay. Let's see what's you going remember on. remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. Oh no. Oh. Whoa. Foo roll. Oh, I love it. It is like a ninja foo feather fight. Oh. Is there no is there no lock on? Oh. Oh, I'm liking this a lot. Look at that! It's like bullet time! Oh yeah, melee attack the crap out of him. Oh, can parry? Okay. Oh yeah! Oh, look at that! Look at that! Get him. You better make a run for it. This is not the time nor place to end this story. All right, here go, go, go. Unlock, unlock. How am I locked? Okay, I guess I... Oh, that's just like the beginning cinematic. Okay. Biomutant. Oh, loading screen. Let's see what is going on. I'm liking this game so far. This time. It was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. Ooh, what are we doing? Oh, get away from that. Get away from that. Oh, okay, you get different ammo? And you, okay. Okay, I like it. Yeah, shut that door, just in case. Don't want that coming back at us. Okay, good. Is there anything like, oh, now I'm going to be looking for collectibles. Nothing here. The game looks pretty good. I like the uh, art style. Oh, do I have to attack? The predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the tree of life started to die. Wildlife? I'm wildlife, aren't I? What? Aren't I? 
Move towards an enemy to target them with a melee attack. Aim the camera towards an enemy to target them with a range attack. To reload your ranged weapons, press OK, the reload or shoulder button. Key energy is used for dodging, using mutations, and performing special attacks. When you're out of key, you'll be unable to perform these actions. Your key energy regenerates both in and out of combat. Okay. Oh, wait. Whoa! I like the dodge, like, slows down time. Oh, yeah! Okay, I like the, the like, sound effects that come out of the, the enemies. I like that. Okay, wacko! This is a really cool... I like the the art style in this game. It is top-notch, for sure. I like it. Alright, can I collect anything from them? No? How about this? No, it doesn't look like you can attack and destroy stuff. Other collectibles? I'm, I really want to look around because there should be collectibles around here, right? No? Yes? No. Oh, there is a run button and you just get down on all fours and run. I like it. Now, it lo looks like you'll have different kinds of ammo. Does that mean we'll have... Oh, that's a, that's a big old desk, so I'm a little tiny creature. Explore bunker. Examine the ammo box. Okay. Weapon add on. Okay, you found a weapon special effect add on attached to your ranged weapon to give it an extra damage type for as long as the ammo lasts. Some enemies have a resistance or weakness to different weapons. What? Okay, so it only. Wait a minute. It only lasts for as long as the ammo does? Consumable quick menu. Wait a minute, so they're not... Okay, so this is just for my clip that I have right now. Okay. That's weird. So your add-ons are only for whatever you have for now. You found a medic supply bag. Bag like this contain items that can heal you. Your health doesn't automatically regenerate in combat. You have to use a consumable. Okay, so in combat it doesn't regenerate, but I'm sure that when you're outside of combat, you can just uh, wait for a minute and it will regenerate. You can quickly banish by holding the quick select menu. Okay. Wow, okay. Wait, there's something over here. Yeah, let's get in here quick. Oh, toilet. Can I pee? Oh, no. Why would you take a bandage out of a toilet? Uh, maybe don't do that. <laughs> up for grabs. Up for... Mm, I don't know. It might be up for grabs for a reason. If it's in the toilet. Oh. All right. Let's get in here. Okay. No, we're good. We're good. Grab on tight and go. And go. Oh, I like how you have a uh, flashlight that turns automatically on and off. You don't have to worry about that. The oil sludge is everywhere. To most, it only means death. But some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its ways. Okay, yeah, we got a parry. They shot me down. Whoa. Oh, you cannot jump. Okay. You cannot jump off the top of a, uh, uh, a chain. All enemies can often be looted. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. So only healing items. What the? Okay. Why am I not? Okay. Come on. I'm already foreseeing some bad things. 
There we go. It's just weird that it wouldn't let me. The deep cut. Get go go go! Yeah, the deep cut. Oh, they're purple too. Okay. Now, are they purple because I'm purple? Got you. Now, can I loot? They don't say I can loot. Oh, only the big ones, I guess. Uh, dainty. I don't even know what a dainty is. Okay, but I'll take it. Okay, yeah, and you do regenerate your health and uh, outside of combat. Ooh, let's not go. Oh, God, get out of there. Get out of there. What the? What was that? Okay. So don't go in the goo at all. I couldn't turn around and come back. Wow. wonder why it wouldn't let me turn back. Wait a minute, did I, did it keep, did it remember that I, uh, up oh, dainty, okay, yeah, okay, so it, it did remember that I picked up those items, okay. Whoa! Your reload takes forever. I wonder if that's because I don't specialize in, uh, weapons, in, uh, firearms. Cutting edge. Cutting edge. Oh, dude. Get him, get him, get him. Okay, quick menu. Just automatically uses it. So if you have it highlighted, it'll automatically use it. Shot through. Shot through. They have a cool little narrator. I, I, I'm almost, I kind of like it. Let's see what you got. Oh, they're different parts now. Okay, so you pick up pieces. Um, oh, energy regeneration and what is this? Tickling taffy. Okay. Some dainty. Got gotcha. you. So we're supposed to go over here. Let's wander over here, but carefully. We don't want to step in that oil again. Yeah, oil kills you, I guess, because we're not contaminated. I don't know. Okay. Let's see what's going on in here. Oh, wait. I always have to check the corners, you guys. You know that. If, you're, if you, you know, do any RPGs, you know that there's going to be hidden stuff in the corners, but I'm guessing this is a tutorial area, so... They're not going to be really anything hidden or around in the bushes or anything yet. Once we get out in the open world, maybe? I don't know. A shielder. Some enemies carry large shields. You need to break the shield with a melee attack before you can deal damage. Okay, so you have to melee attack. Oh, it bounced that bullet. You see that? Iron wall. Whoa! Okay. Broke his shield. Got him. Whoa! Uh, the slow motion is pretty cool. I like it. A big pack of pills, it looks like. Look at that. Okay, take that. Oh, and some tongue tongue tickly? What the? Okay. Let's actually uh, take some tongue tickly, I guess. Hopefully we get some more weapons, because, yeah, the handguns aren't doing it for me. Upgrade point. Okay, maybe we can get some stronger and faster attacks. 
defeating enemies and completing quests will give you XP by leveling it up. It allows you to raise one of your attributes by 10. You'll also get one point that you can use to unlock skills in the Wong Fu and perks menu. Okay. Take it, everybody. Let me pick up this, whatever this is. Yeah. All right, Wong Fu and the, I'm guessing, character. Oh, look at this menu. Okay. Gear. Oh, wait a minute. We have gear. In this section, you can change the equipment and weapons. The circle icon represents a part of the body that can be geared up. Whoa! There's a lot of gearing up stuff. Okay. Main hand. You can source your gear according to different stats. You can scrap the highlighted piece of gear for crafting resources. Okay. Okay. So I have two different ones. Got it. Okay. Nothing. I haven't collected anything yet. I wonder if it'll highlight it if I have anything for that. Yeah, I don't have anything. Oh, wait. Yeah, we did our gear. Let's see. Wait a minute. Inventory, consumables. Oh, yeah, we have all our all our different foods and stuff. Okay. Let's go to our character. When you level up, you can increase. Okay, yeah, yeah. We already got it. Ooh. And we have charisma and luck. I wonder how that's going to go in later on. Critical chance and loot chance. Okay. It actually raises the loot chance and critical chance. Vitality. Okay. Your health and armor. Or your melee damage for your strength. We're going to do strength at first. Let's do some more damage. Look at those muscles. Oh, yeah. Look at those muscles. Upgrade points. You'll earn upgrade points when leveling up. These can be used to acquire new skills. All right. Oh, look at this. Basic melee. Uh, let's do close combat. One-headed slash do-wield melee. Whoa. Okay. You have different things. Unstoppable pig. Finish. Oh, these are different moves. Okay, we can unlock the. Okay. What about ranged? Guns. Cane dance. B, X, and then finish your melee chain by fan firing your gun. Okay, we're going to do that. Fan firing your gun. Yes. B, X, and trigger. Got it. All right, we're getting pretty good. What? Once you have more upgrade points, remember to spend them at the perks and special attacks in the Wung Fu and perk menu. Okay, gotcha. Map. Oh, look at this map. Whoa, wait a minute. Look at this map. That's a pretty big map. I mean, we were just running around this little area over here. We just barely got in here. Oh, I'm loving it. Let's get over here. Nothing. Let's see. Can we open this door? Can't open that. Let's get in here. Pick up the claw bar. An emergency box from the once was. A rare sight. The once was. Wow. Okay. Crowbar. It's a weapon. Old clover crowbar. Oh, now it wants me to go over there. Am I going to have to use a crowbar to open this thing? Is it going to be a special, like, opening door thing? No? Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me check this out. Main hand. Offhand. I can't use the crowbar, huh? Well, what do we get the, the crowbar for then? Legs? Nothing? Not really mainstream, but okay then. Oh, you can take your pants? You can just unequip it and... Okay. Main gear. Where... Outfits? Okay. Oh, there's my, my naked little guy running around. My purple guy. Look at that. Yeah, actually, it's purple and blue. That is awesome. Okay. 
We're gonna keep our, our clothes on for that. <laughs> that pipe looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Alright, there you go. Oh, there you go. Quick time event. Boom. Anything around here? Nothing. Okay, let's jump down in the hole. Whoa. Oh. Oh. It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. Why? Is there danger here? What's going on in this place? That we have to find a way out. Can we get in there? Nope. Don't go in the sludge. We learned the hard way earlier. Uh-oh. Yep, rabbit leaps. Got it. One, two. There we go. Yep. You don't want to touch that black goo. The oil or whatever they call it. What is this glowing stuff? Oh, this doesn't look good either. The morks produce biomatter in their multi-organ that they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. I need to get some more damage going on here. Yeah, definitely. Now that's a flesh wound. <laughs> now that's a flesh. Okay, I like the the narrator, but you just his like light commentary over your attacks. I don't know. I don't know if that's needed or not, but I mean it's okay. It's not irritating yet, but I can see it becoming. You absorbed a bio blob. These are points used to unlock mutations. You collect bio blobs by defeating morks and finding containers. Okay. You can use your bio blobs to unlock special powers at any time. Okay. Climb the chain. Wait, wait, can we do our bio blob? Automation? Wait a minute, wait a minute. The automation has accompanied you since you were a kidling. It's old world tech mixy. Oh, so the grasshopper is your own. Oh, wait a minute. He's a flashlight. He's a oh, you can actually choose. Oh, they probably have to upgrade him though. You have different. Oh, I can't wait. Okay. Okay. I guess we're gonna climb the chain. Gonna shoot this thing. No, nothing. Nothing. Okay. All right. Low tech, but it works. Yeah, chain works. Got anything around here? I love the art style of this game. Just the whole style in general. I really like it. The visual style of this game is really awesome. Look at that. Oh. I like how there's like plans and this is like obviously a bunker like an army bunker. Toxanol built vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single arc they left behind that we know other arcs traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us Never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. Oh. So was it animals or was it people? Can I take these notes? Nope, I can't do any of that. Okay. Not really picking up notes or anything like that to find out the lore. What is this? Oh, wait. You find a puzzle. These are scattered around the world. Some open new paths while others feature different rewards. To switch which note is... Selected, use the left stick. All right. Rotate the node, press the left and right bumper. This is the number of rotations you have left. The higher the, your intellect, the more moves you have. Each node is a certain position it must be rotated into to complete the puzzle. Running out of moves before that may have consequences. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Okay. Well, what is this? Uh, 
There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxinol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right. But no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. Oh, so are we the mutants that were left over? Okay, that's why I look like an animal, but I'm just a mutated animal. That is okay, okay. But I mean, yeah, it could have been that long ago. Sound oh. of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. Yeah. It's coming from behind that door. Okay. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. A potential brain melt? It's oh. going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Just a few moves left. Make them come. There you go. Okay, it's not too hard. You're just color coordinating them a little bit. Okay. I get what is this a boss fight? I feel like this is a boss fight out here. Perfectly countering an enemy attack will stun them. A stunned enemy has stars circling above their head and hitting the enemy again. You can launch it up in the air. Okay. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. The wheeled one? I feel like the combat should be faster, though. Maybe you can get faster later on. Yeah, look at it. It just feels slow. Get him, get him, get him! Come on! Yeah, this uh, combat is okay. It just feels slow. Like you're in water doing it. It looks cool, but it is really slow and intentional. That's the last of them. Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. The wheeled one. <laughs> I like how he is the wheeled. Oh, we're gonna get all these guys. Give me all your pieces and bits and bobs. Give me the... Okay, so if you pick off their body, it's health. But if they have the little drops like that, that are glowing, it looks like pieces. Rubble and clink and e-waste. Okay. So I'm guessing you can use those different parts to actually increase your gear. Like upgrade your gear or something. A new friend, an old friend. What do you got going on, friend? He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then. The night everything changed. There have been rumors of a one-eyed ronin seen outside the Great Wall. 
and he's happy to see it's true. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. The scar? It's a scar you're covering under that eye patch, isn't it? But he would have recognized you anyways. You look exactly like your Muma. There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Looper Lupin did to your village, your Muma and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back, but he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Muma's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. The impending threat of the World Eaters bringing down the Tree of Life is ever so close. He also worries about the Jagni tribe that's actively working for a doomsday and purging of the world. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. By default, dialogues are set to advance from one NPC line to the next automatically. If you want to manually advance the dialogue, you can change this. Okay. The Tree of Life. Well, oh, well, look at our little baby guy. Well, we're going to stop it there, you guys. Hopefully, you guys liked this episode. If you did, hit that like button for me. And I will see you guys in the next video.